Hello, boys and girls. We meet again for another exciting lesson. It's me again, Miss Hezrin. And for today, I promise you that our lesson will be entertaining, informative, and of course, joining us in this lesson is none other than our beloved Gramwis. Ta-da! Hello, boys and girls. It's me again, Gramwis. And today, I will be with you and Miss Hezrin. Hi, Hi. Miss Hezrin. Hi, Gramwis. So, please do not get bored with me, for I'm going to make sure that you and Miss Hezrin will have an interesting lesson. Hey, Gramwis. Um. All mm -hmm. right, so in the last episode, we learned about adjectives, right? Yes, we definitely do. And I hope all of you could still remember some of the adjectives that we had learned in the previous episode. Well, as for today, we are going to look into another interesting topic. But, but, um, before we start, okay. um, uh, Graham Wiss, yes. have you seen my pen? I swear I was holding it a few minutes ago. It was on my chair. I swear it was on my chair. But mm. now I can't find it. Oh my god. Um, Miss Hazrin. Yes? I, I hate to tell you this, but the pen is in your pocket. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Yeah. In my pocket. Oh dear. Oh my god. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Completely slip off my mind. Oh my god. Thank you so much, Grammy. This is my no favorite pen. Oh, okay. All right. Um, well, boys and girls, let's recall that conversation that I just had with Gramways. So, when I look around for my pen, I said, I swear it was on my chair. And Gramways said, Hmm, I think it's in the pocket. So, boys and girls, the words that we mentioned in the sentences are on and in. So now, think about it. Why do we use these two words? Well, we use these words to show the place where something or someone is located. These words are called prepositions. Hmm. Yes, Gramwis, mm -hmm. you are absolutely right. So today, we will look at prepositions focusing only on the prepositions of place. Now, boys and girls, can you give up some examples of prepositions that you know? Gramwis, mm. do you want to try? Yeah, we can, but it wouldn't be challenging for our students at home. Okay, all right. All right, I'll save it later for yes, them. Okay, um, now let's get this lesson started. Okay, boys and girls, let's begin. Look here, boys and girls. I found a ball and a chair. Hmm, what shall I do with these two? Watch and listen. Hmm. I do. Hmm. Okay then. Um, firstly, I am going to put this ball on the chair. Uh, wait a minute. Um, I think I want to change it. Um, I am going to place the ball in front of the chair. Well, uh, hmm. let's move this ball now behind the chair. Uh, oh well, let's change its position again. Hmm, now where should I change it? Alright, so right now, I am holding up the ball. So now, the ball is above the chair. Hmm, I am going to take my pen and place it under the ball. The pen now is under or below the ball. And the ball now is next to the chair. Hmm. This is a bit boring. Let me move this ball a bit farther than the chair. 
Now the ball is near the chair. Aha! Ah, we've got another chair here. Um, I shall move this chair here and place this ball between these chairs. Now the ball is between these two chairs. <sighs> you know what? Um, I have decided to place this ball in the box. There, the ball is in the box. Hmm. So boys and girls, did you manage to keep up with where I had placed the ball? Okay, now let's have a look again. So I had placed the ball on the chair. In front of the chair. Above the chair. And then I've placed the pen below and under the ball. Next to the chair. Near the chair. Between the chairs. In the box. Now, look at the words in bold. What are they? The words in bold that I've mentioned just now, they are called prepositions. As I have mentioned earlier, prepositions are words that we use to show the place where something or someone is located. So the words on, in, near, between, above, below, next to, in front of, are also referred to as the prepositions of place. Now, boys and girls, look at these pictures and tell me where the ball is located in each picture. The ball is on the chair. The ball is under the chair. The ball is in the box. The ball is above the chair. The pen is below the ball. The ball is near the chair. The ball is between the chairs. The ball is next to the chair. The ball is in front of the chair. Excellent, boys and girls. All of you did a great job. Congratulations. Now, before we move on to the next activity, let's recall some of the prepositions that we have learned. In, on, above, Below, next to, near, between, under, in front of. There you have it, boys and girls. Those are the words related to prepositions of place. Now, remember, prepositions are words that we use to show where something or someone is located. Now, guess what time it is? It's time for our next activity. <gasps> Ta-da! We are in the next session. And my chairs and my box is gone. All right. Now, in this session, 
you'll be given a sentence and a picture. Now, I want you to replace the picture with prepositions on, in, under, in front of, and between. The cat is the tree. Now look at the picture again. What is the answer? Yes, the answer is under. The cat is under the tree. Look at our next sentence and picture. The cat is the chair. Hmm. Boys and girls, do you know what is the answer? I'm sure you know. Well, yes, you are right. The answer is on. The cat is on the chair. Now, let's look at this sentence. The cat is the box. Well, you got it right. The answer is in. The cat is in the box. Next one. The cat is the house. Yes, the answer is in front of. The cat is in front of the house. Okay, here's another sentence for you. The bird is the boxes. Yes, you are absolutely right. The answer is between. The bird is between the boxes. Next one. The cat is the box. Yes, boys and girls, it is next to. The cat is next to the box. Well, good job, boys and girls. All of you did very great job. Now, let's move on with our next activity. And our next activity is challenge time! Hi again, boys and girls. Do you know what time it is? It is challenge time! Earlier in this episode, Miss Hazrin has showed you some of the words of preposition of place. Hmm, can you still remember them? Yes, we have learned on, in, under, next, in front of, below, behind, above, between, and next to. Now that you know this preposition, we are going to challenge and see whether you could complete our challenge as fast as you could. In today's challenge, you are going to look at a picture. You will be given some time to remember where everything is. Then answer the questions. Now boys and girls, have a look at this picture. Now, answer these two questions. Number one, where is the clock? A, on the bed. B, on the wall. And C, in the wall. Question two, where is the fan? A, under the bedroom, B, between the chair, and C, above the bed. Did you get that, boys and girls? Let's look at the answers. So, for question one, where is the clock? The answer is B, on the wall. Question two, where is the fan? The answer is C, 
above the bed. Well done, boys and girls. You are excellent. Now, let's move on to the next activity. Miss Hezrin, over to you. And we're back. Thank you, Gramwis. Now, before we move on to our next activity, guess what? It is time for fun fact. So, if you have noticed, there are a lot of cats featured and mentioned in this episode. Therefore, I am going to share some interesting facts about cats. Now, boys and girls, do you know that cats spend 70% of their lives sleeping? Wow! That would be around 13 to 16 hours of sleep in a day. No wonder my cat is sleeping most of the times. And the next fact is, the oldest cat, the oldest cat that ever lived is 38 years old. My goodness, this record belongs to a cat named, very cute name, Cream Puff, born on 3rd August 1967 and lived until 6 August 2005. Wow, the average lifespan of a cat is 15 years. So, this is an impressive record, Cream Puff. And do you know that ancient Egyptians worship cats and honor them when they die? They believe that cats are magical creatures that brought good luck to their owners. Do you know that when a cat died, the ancient Egyptians mummified their cat and shaved off their eyebrows as a sign of mourning? This mourning period ended once their eyebrows has grown again. So, there you have it, boys and girls. Those are some of the interesting facts that I have shared on cats. Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to our lesson on prepositions. Now, let's recap on today's lesson. In this lesson, we have learned about prepositions. In particular, prepositions of place. Now, let's remember, what is a preposition? Prepositions are words that we use to show the place where something or someone is located. Some of the prepositions that we have focused in this lesson are on, in, near, between, above, below, under, next to, in front of. Here are some examples to help you visualize the prepositions. On. The cat is on the box. In. The cat is in the box. Next to. The cat is next to the box. Under. The cat is under the box. Above. The cat is above the box. Between. The cat is between the boxes. In front of. The cat is in front of the box. Behind. The cat is behind the box. Hey boys and girls, it's that time again. Time for Mega Challenge! Now that you have learned about preposition of places, we are very sure that you have understood and able to use prepositions 
in your sentences. So now we are going to take the challenge one step further. Are you ready? For this challenge, you will need a piece of paper, pencil, lend your ears, and pay attention to the instruction. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We are giving you the description of pictures, and you are going to listen and draw according to our instructions. For example, this is the description. The boy is reading under a tree. Ta-da! Now, look at what we have drawn. Now, are you ready, boys and girls? If you are, let's begin. Number one, a cat is sleeping in a box. Number two, a ball is between the bags. And number three, a girl is eating near a building. Number four, a dog is sitting in front of a house. And number five, a man is standing under a fan. And number six, there is a book in the desk. Did you manage to complete the challenge? If you didn't manage to listen to all sentences, I will repeat. Listen again. Number one, a cat is sleeping in a box. Number two, a ball is between the bags. Number three, a girl is eating near a building. Number four, a dog is sitting in front of a house. Number five, a man is standing under a fan. And finally, there is a book in the desk. Well done, boys and girls. You did an awesome job for completing the task. Now, it would be great if you could take a photo of each sentences that you have drawn and share it on your social media accounts. It could be your Facebook, your Instagram, or even your TikTok. Don't forget to include these hashtags in your artwork. Hashtag Gram it right, hashtag Gramwis, and hashtag Grammar Made Easy. Over to you, Miss Hazrin. Thank you, Gramwis. Wow, that was very challenging. I'm not good with drawing, so hmm, I'm not sure if I'm going to draw according to what Gramwis you know, has mentioned just now. So there you have it, boys and girls. Today, we have learned prepositions. In particular, prepositions of place, such as on, in, under, below, above, in front of, next to, between, near. Alright, I hope that you have enjoyed today's lesson and able to use these prepositions of place confidently in your writing and also while you are talking with your family and friends. So, boys and girls, I'll see you again in another episode. Until then, bye!